Hey folks, it's Ken Pulse here from skillwave.training and Monkey Tools. And I just wanted to share, I've been watching this pretty cool little thread that's been going on on LinkedIn over the last little bit from Mark Proctor, where he's been sharing his Lambda Advent calendar with a new Lambda every day. And as he's been sharing these, I've been looking at some of them thinking, man, these are pretty cool. I really wish I could store these so that when I need to use one of these in the future, I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I can use his work and make my life a little bit easier. Now, I'm gonna show you bar none, the fastest way to be able to store and inject lambdas into your workbook. No cooking up some VBA code or using gist files or anything like that. We're just gonna make this nice and easy using the free features in Monkey Tools. So Mark was kind enough to send me his Christmasless workbook that he has here. And we can see in here that the idea is that we want to generate this list of people based on some search terms so that we can figure out who haven't we bought presents for. And I think it's pretty cool that Mark is looking here at getting you know, a copy of M is for Data Monkey for someone, although I, I do wanna say that this really should be Master Your Data because that is the newer version of my book. Uh, but you'll notice that when I do this, it hasn't updated in my list. And that's because these are hard-coded values and I don't have the Lambda function inside this workbook. So I really need to inject it so I can replicate this list. So let's just get rid of this for a second. I do want to use this equals flexible filter lambda, but you can see not in the workbook at all. Now, I happen to have the signature here. It's obviously quite short. I'm really going to remember this next time I need to write it, right? <laughs> not. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and copy this, and I can copy this from his LinkedIn post, or I happen to have it in the workbook here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Monkey Tools, BiblioMonkey. And within the BiblioMonkey database, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and say, let's add a new Lambda function into my database. And I'm gonna go and call this one here, uh, Flexible Filter. And this is Mark Proctor's uh, Flexible Filter Lambda. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and Control V will paste his Lambda in here, okay? Whether it came from the LinkedIn post or a text file or whatever, I'm now gonna go and say, save. Now notice you don't need to have an equals in front of it. It'll work if you do, that's fine. And the nice thing now is that I can, right from here if I want to, just inject it to the workbook. But I'm actually not gonna do that for this one just because I want you to see that right now, still in that cell, oops, if we go and type in uh, flexible, it's still not there, okay? So I need to have it available for my use. And this is where I say this is the fastest possible way to inject a Lambda into your workbook. Right click, Insert from BiblioMonkey, Lambda. I've got a bunch of them here, but here's Flexible Filter. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna say Inject. And now we can come over here and you're gonna see that Flexible Filter is indeed in here. We can go and select the values to return. We can select the uh, values to look in, select the search terms. And there we go, boom. And we can even see that Master Your Data has picked up the correct title from the data. So whether you're storing Mark Proctor's lambdas or whether you're storing those from, you know, Craig Hatmaker or Jim and Early or the stuff that you built yourself, there is bar none, no faster way to be able to inject it into your workbook than a right click and choose the one you want, say okay, and you're pretty much done. So if you're looking for a great way to store your Lambda functions, I really suggest you check out Monkey Tools. This is one of our free features that we have in there. You should definitely have it in your arsenal of tools.